Today we're delving into the origins of a literary detective, discovering the seedy underbelly of the 80s in America, and strapping on our boots, pulling out our six-shooter and heading to the west. This is Trailer Talk. Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'll be bringing you three upcoming adventure game trailers. We'll be looking at the trailers, telling you about the release date, telling you about the development, how you can support them, how you can wishlist them, and uh, in return, let me know what you think about them. If you are new to the channel, I create purely adventure game videos from old school stuff like Monkey Island and Broken Sword through to new games that are going to be on this video today. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please hover down below and hit the subscribe button. And whilst you're down there, smash that like because it really does show YouTube that adventure games are here to stay. So here comes the first of our trailers today. Let's go. What would you do if your arch nemesis took your spot as the most notorious outlaw in the West? Well, partner, you'd get off your couch and do whatever it takes to get it back. Meet some peculiar characters and solve intricate puzzles in this old-school point-and-click tumbleweed adventure. Lie, cheat, and steal your way through the Old West. Well, death may be a bit too permanent, but he will at least try hard, for sure. Come on, folks, wish list it now. Lone McLonegan. A Western Adventure. Low McLonegan is the first game from developers Sonomia Games, which are based out of Spain. And the game will be published by Flynn's Arcade on November the 4th. I've been following this game for quite a while and I really like the art style of this. No, it's not pixels, but it genuinely has its own look. It's very um pointy. There's another scientific word for that, but I'm going to stick with pointy. The story revolves around Lone McLonegan, he is the hero, or rather the anti-hero of the West, but suddenly he's um he's been knocked off his perch by a, probably another more cowboy-y kind of cowboy. All these words are real words, by the way. There are not many Western games around these days. Um, the only one coming up that I can think of is Rosewater, due out in 2022. Um, and in the past five years, I don't know, let me know in the comments, are there any Western games around these days? If you like the look of Lone McClonegan, please make sure that you go down in my description below and wishlist it. We are sticking in the West for our next trailer, but it's not a Western, it's, um, it's the 80s. And just a quick warning, this might not be suitable for the younger viewers. Nightmare frames from postmodern adventures right there and pixel art. Yes, love pixel art. Layer on top of that pixel art, that banging soundtrack and already I don't care what the story's about. It sounds great and it looks great. But story does count in games as well. So here we play as a screenwriter who was on the hunt for a missing horror script in the middle of the 80s. And uh, yeah, it takes in all kinds of crazy characters haunted town, religious cults, uh, B-movie tropes. I mean, it looks like it's chock full of 80s nostalgia, which, yeah, again, thumbs up. There is no release date for this one yet. It comes out in 2022. But And before we head into the final trailer, I'd like to keep you up to date with some adventure game news, if that's all right with you. Uh, first news is that Beyond the Steel Sky, the behemoth of the sequel of Beneath the Steel Sky, again, words, finally has a physical release on Xbox, PlayStation 4 
PlayStation 5 and Switch. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like a physical offering uh, for PC is gonna be out there anytime soon. But across those platforms, there are two different editions where you get loads of stuff with one and a little bit more stuff from another. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can have a closer look at it yourself and, um, and pre-order it. That comes out at the end of November this year. And two games that I featured on this channel before. The first is Shindig, which has just come out. It came out about a week ago um, about you trying to um, basically set up a party for, for an island. And it's really kooky and it's quite fun. I'm playing it at the minute. Uh, so go and have a look at that one. And also Saint Kotar, which was a, a big uh, Kickstarter success last year that has a release date for the end of October. So again, I'll leave all the descriptions uh, down below and just support the games, that'd be great. So that's enough news from me. Let's have a look at the third trailer. some questions for you. Is there anything you would like to add to your story? I ask that you all lend me your ears for only a few moments. What I have to say is of great significance to everyone. It's not David Suchet as Poirot, unfortunately, but these are the early years of Poirot. So if you didn't know, Poirot is a creation of the um, literary giant that is Agatha Christie, who solves the crimes with um, calculated wit and kind of outmaneuvering others. And yeah, he's very dialogue -y, just like I am today. This has been developed by Blazing Griffin, who um, I did mention on a previous video, who are also creating the murder mystery machine. And that looks pretty cool. Have a look at that previous video. Uh, and again, it's out really, really soon. It's out at the end of September and it's been published by Micro Microids, who did um, Siberia as well and other things. Um, so if you like investigative detective games and if you um, like Agatha Christie, then uh, yeah, go for it. This is looks like it's out on everything um, again head down below and have a look at the links and uh, whilst you are down there why not click on my links because i have started twitch um it's currently playing through gemini Roo. big thumbs up at the minute and of course i have my point and click adventurers facebook group where we've nearly hit a thousand people on there so if you like talking about adventure games then head on over there and um, we do it all the time all day um yeah and finally if you're not on facebook but you want to talk to adventure game fans i also have a discord links down below um, basically, if you like adventure games, um, subscribe, like, go and have a look at the links, like wishlist games and stuff. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to end it there. That's a good ending today. Right, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.